What did I wish I knew about parenting? I mean, it's the cliche of time. Everyone jokes with you about not having any time or not going to get any sleep. And you, you I don't think you ever properly absorb just what that means until you end up being a parent. And then you sit back and go, well, I really don't have any time and I haven't had much sleep. You feel so responsible for someone who is so vulnerable and is looking to you for the things that they need in life. You know, when you become a parent for the first time, you're actually, you're quite vulnerable yourselves because you don't know anything either. And so you just get overwhelmed with all of this information, you know, well-meaning people and, and books, piles of books start turning up and notes in them saying, this is the only book you'll ever need. It's the little milestones that they don't tell you about. You know, you're aware that you're going to be there for crawling and, and first walking and, and first words and, and all of those big, big things. But there's a thousand other little milestones that come along as well. You know, I, uh, last week it was just Neve and I at home and I was teaching her how to get off a couch because she didn't know and she kept going head first and I kept going, no, you gotta get your little bum there and get your legs down and go on the ground and, and get off this way. And it, and it took us a couple of days of just, no, here you go. But when she got it, you could just see the joy in her face when she'd finally figured this out. And, and you share that moment with your child where you're just absolutely stoked as well. And you're like, yeah! And all you've done is teach them how to get off a couch. Big milestone. <laughs> the best form of entertainment that a child has is actually you. You know, they're taking so many cues from you. They're learning how to mimic hand gestures and sound and they're, and they're recognizing um, facial reactions to things. So th the best gift that you can give a child is time. We set up the, the ninth floor uh, in, in Parliament where Cinder has her office to, uh, we, we took over a staff room and made it into like a little creche. There is no one more popular on the ninth floor than Neve coming out of a lift, I can tell you that. The, the, the staff up there are just so happy to see her because they're on the kind of the journey as well. They've watched her become, you know, from a tiny little infant to someone who is now crawling and, uh, you know, they, they're actually having to look around the office and go, oh, we better not leave that out there and, and she'll pull things down off desks and the other day she ate some papers that might have been slightly, um, slightly quite important. <laughs> so that's the other thing that no one told me about parenting. It's this knife edge of emotion that you're on from, from just, you know, joy and fun and mucking around to, oh my goodness, don't do that. That's so dangerous. And, and your adrenaline, you get this shot of adrenaline that goes through you and you think, how am I going to go through this for the next 25 years? <laughs> the other thing that I wasn't aware of going into this wild ride was that you stop looking at the world through just your eyes and you start looking at the world through their eyes and what future they're facing. We are in a, a really fortunate position where I get to spend time with Neve, and I know that not every group of parents, or solo parents especially, have that opportunity, so it's, we, we know how lucky we are.